What's up, beautiful people? Today we got a special one. Obviously, by the title, you guys already know we're here to talk about Michaela. And this is a TikToker that talks about how it's easy, like it's harder to be an influencer than working a nine to five. As someone that's doing both right now currently, it's just insane that how delusional of some of these people think it is. It's okay to complain about your work. It's okay to complain how busy it is. The fact of the matter, she comes across very entitled and the fact that the matter like there's been so many videos are out there showing her showing all the and designer bags and everything you have the sense of a matter is like you making so much money to the fact that you're having a bunch of like designer bag sponsorship and everything like that even if you're super busy i know it's not easy but you have the means and resources also to hire people on to help you out with some of this so if you're not doing that taking your money and spending it and all these things that is on you that's why sometimes this influencer or people tend to get help like an editor or a manager or something to help you get up the load instead of doing everything yourself she's a beauty influencer meaning there's a lot of people there's a lot of money in there especially if you have like affiliate links and all that stuff like that people are always going to help you out in that aspect if you have products out people are going to buy those products and everything so the fact that the matter you're saying this is just kind of uh hypocritical of you for saying stuff like that it's not as but like we're going to take a look at the video that people are talking about we just finished work and it's 519 try being an influencer for a day try it in here oh for me i had a real flash here it is and here's the bag the should to say that it was like it's 519 currently it's 519 try being an influencer for a day I am an influencer. Actually, I do multiple things and, and I struggle and it's okay. It's okay. So far right now, what it is. I do FIFA content and I'm about to start streaming for FIFA because FIFA 23 just about to come out. I also do, obviously, this other second channel, my YouTube channel that I'm doing right now. And I come home and edit. I'm an accountant. Right, I go to work. I wake up at six and I wake up at six in the morning. Go to work. I have to be at work by seven thirty. Come home and also have to take care. Uh, obviously, some stuff around the house, and especially I just got home. I had to clean. I had to cook. And now I'm doing this video. So the fact that you ready to say that is crazy because I do that. On top of that, I do coach youth soccer. So like that's one of my thing is like coaching you. So I have to balance all that. To say anything like this is hard. And I'm not even saying what I'm doing is hard because there are people out there that do nine to five that's way more difficult than what I do currently. And the fact that you pin yourself in that is crazy. Like first responder has it way harder than me. Um, even an officer, I have to say, because for the fact of the matter is any day could be, hey, you can literally come into trouble where and somebody could take out a weapon on you and everything like that. Being in the army, you know, being a, 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 a sewage guy, you know, there's so many to a oil drill digger. There's so many things out there that could potentially be even harder, like back breaking work, being a roofer, you know, during the summertime, you know how crazy how hard it is for a lot of people like that. It's just construction workers. There's so many things I can list. There's so many things I can go about to say it's difficult. You have to wake up in the comfort of your house make video create video edit those video i know it's time consuming time consuming is not the same as difficult all right it's not the same as very hard i get it trust me i'm here i have to do the same thing i have to edit my own video i have to do everything by myself to say the least that i'm saying this is difficult it's not difficult at all it's actually a lot more this is quite a peaceful time for me it's a quite a a nice a slow down time for my work you know it's just it gets very taxing with my work but at the same time when i come home this is the other part of me that i really enjoy and really enjoy to do we're going to take a look at comments that somebody made on based on this and just see how like pretty much people reacted to this being a content creator is a full-time job it is a lot of work however the perks of having millions of followers very well paid brand deals and lots of pr is honestly unlike any other normal jobs let's be real again brands pay influencers for their influence they make brands bank however please don't blank 
act like it's harder than working three retail jobs to make ends meet. Blank off with this thing. <laughs> sure, everyone is allowed to complain or and moan about their work. Totally valid. That is true. You're, you're allowed to complain about it. Saying try being an influencer for a day. What a joke. You know you are a very successful influencer and you're spitting in the face of your followers who can barely afford to leave. Influation and everything, like a lot of things being so expensive is ridiculous. To say the least that she comes across and being saying that it's kind of, it is a spit in the face of many of your followers that you're doing this and you're saying this, most of those guys are supporting you with their hard income. You know, some people work two jobs, some people work three jobs. You know, some people are barely able to make ends meet. So the fact that you come in here with all these brand deals and all these things that you have and says this at the end, is very hypocritical, right? It is. Like, you're not going anywhere. You're at your home and you're filming and you're editing. You're having meetings. You have your PR team. You have your meetings with your with your people that you hire on and everything. Yes, it's a lot of work. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot of work. Running a business, it's a lot of work. Obviously, that's your business. Don't ever compare it to people who are doing actually the grinding of the nine to five. You know, the one that has to drag their feet, drag themselves to work every day every day because that's the source of living so the to say the matter of the list is just it, it's just insane that she had to had to put that out there and said that while next to the video you're showing all your brand bags like all the dude i barely owns anything like brand you know like any luxurious thing i don't this shirt is from walmart <laughs> like come on i i for me it's unnecessary it's unnecessary spending but it's just ridiculous that some people are saying that i go to nordstrom rack rack nordstrom rack to look at deals on shoes and everything that's how i found my shoes and it, that's how i get my shoes sometimes you know i always look for deals i'm always de looking for deals i don't have a brand to sponsor me giving me money even if that's the case i know exactly what i would do with that money it ain't gonna be me flexing or doing all this in front of a camera i don't have time for that you know i have a future to think of and and i have goals that i want to accomplish in my life so never say that michaela i sure it's a hard time it's a hard, hard grind that you're doing and you're very successful and i and I, and and the, by all means i'm very happy for you in that aspect but do not compare yourself to first responder firefighters you know police officer army storage worker construction worker roofers all those things like like do not any especially scrap uh, people are scrap oil diggers you know things like that people are going down mine shaft or anything like that people are doing dangerous job that mostly you would not be doing you would not even step foot to so give those people their props give those people their credits instead of you saying stuff like that it's not good it's not a good it's not a good look on you and I'm sure you meant well, but it's just an it's just an insane, insane thought that you actually have to have. When I saw the story and I heard this story, it kind of it gave me a little bit of like frustrated. I was a little bit frustrated, a little bit gassed that somebody would say something like that. But at the same time, everyone has an opinion. They have their own mindset or choice. But sometimes it's good to just keep those to yourself. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.